Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer review skis. I got something that is very, 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 very interesting. I went to the Queen Ski LCBO like I have been a lot more recently, and you know this kind of just like stood out and just blew me in the face. Um, Pump House Blueberry Ale. Uh, very, very interesting. I don't know what this has to do with fire departments. You know, it's Pump House Brewery. There's an, an image of a fire hydrant with a, uh, the hose wrapped around it, and there's like a, a crest or a shield in the background. So, I don't know too much about the history of this beer. I can tell you that it's it's brewed in Moncton, uh, New, New Brunswick, Canada. I'm thinking that maybe a brewery owned, sorry, maybe a, uh, somebody who retired from a, you know, f uh, doing, uh, being a, f I can't even think, somebody retired from being a firefighter maybe, and, and maybe they decided to open up a, a brewery called Pump House Brewery. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, it's worth checking out, though. You might as well check it out. Uh, we got the, I don't know, I've never seen this on a beer before. We got like a Canadian approved crescent uh, and a Canadian flag. Brewery of the Year, apparently. Uh, this was awarded 2005. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. Canadian Brewing Awards. Brewery of the Year. Sorry, it's not what I was saying originally. Got a cool little cap here. I haven't seen a red cap like that on a beer, I don't think. I don't know. It just throws me off. You know, you got a full-out blue beer. You got full-out blue shirt. And then you got a red cap. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's the fire hydrant. So popping, you know, the seal off the fire hydrant. Maybe maybe that's what that's what it's probably all about. Anyways, I'm going to be drinking out of my Samuel Smith uh, pint glass here. And one thing I'd like to say is that this is a simple twist off. Oh, I really do smell blueberries in there. I really do smell blueberries. Now you'd think, you'd think that this would look very blue, but I can even see through the bottle. Uh, this is a very clear beer. I don't know. I don't really like that. Yeah, you see, uh, does that look like a blueberry beer to you? I don't know. Um, smells like blueberry. I also kind of got a weird smell in there that I didn't pick up on before. Uh, you can smell blueberries, but it's missing something. I don't know what to say. Uh, they don't have very much head up here. We got practically no head. This just came out of a you know your typical uh, chilled refrigerator. I like how it looks clear. It looks kind of like a I guess a looks just like a blue labat blue or a Canadian or something like that. Maybe not a Canadian. That would be a little darker. But yeah, I guess it looks like a bat, bat blue. Um, very light, you know, wheaty looking yellowish color. So okay, let's see, let's see what happens here. Apparently, there's other beers out there from this brewery, uh, but this is the only one that I was able to find. All right, you taste a little bit of blueberries. But you get a really weird multi aftertaste as a result. And one thing I don't like, you know, I'm not trying to criticize this brewery uh, or they probably wanted to make this the way that it is, but personally, one thing I don't like is that it doesn't, like, look, there's no head, right? You can, like, it's gone. And just, I'm not, I'm not telling you this, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm telling you because I'm tasting it, but they're very, there isn't very much carbonation in this beer. It, it almost kind of seems like it's a little watered down. And the blueberries, you're not really tasting. This might sound like a stupid comment, but if you were to chew on the skin of a blueberry, you would get, you would get a little bit of blueberry. And you get a strange texture, but you wouldn't get the full-on, like, 
biting into a blueberry right to its core, like blueberry, you know, taste, right? It's almost as if this beer was brewed with the skins or something. I, it sounds it sounds stupid. It probably isn't. But uh, but when you drink it, like I was trying to say, it you you want there to be blueberries and you're tasting like a little bit of blueberries, but like it's not all there. Like blue, there's something missing in this blueberry. Aside from that, it's original. Would I buy a six pack of it again? I don't think so. I don't know how to explain this beer anymore. It's not bad. Um, and it's definitely one of those beers where it doesn't change. You know it's not going to change taste when it gets further to the bottom. Um, if I were to just pull up ingredients. Uh, I forgot to tell you. It, I think it claims to be like a natural blueberry um, flavor. <clears throat> it's also on the box, which is outside. I don't need to get the box. I don't know if I said this actually, but this is a, the 341 milliliter bottle at 5.0% ABV. And it all, to be honest with you, it tastes like a 4.5% ABV, ABV beer. And that, that probably has something to do with that taste that I'm picking up on, that watered down taste. Is it bad? No. I would still recommend people to give it a try. If I were you, I'd buy a six pack. Split it amongst six friends. <laughs> Sorry, five friends, and you making, making it six people. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I wouldn't brag about this to people. It wouldn't be something where I'd be like, "You gotta try, pump house, blueberry ale." Nothing like that. <laughs> but it's still all right. Definitely no change in taste, people. I'm gonna cut it short. What would I like to give this out of five? Thinking. Thinking very, 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 very hard. I think I would give this 2.8 out of five. I think that would be good. All right, people. Uh, thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't trick and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.